Friends, that was Lift Every Voice and Sing, written by James Weldon Johnson and Jay Rosamond Johnson, performed and arranged by Black Alley. One of the city's favorite go-go bands covered this anthem the way only DC can. For the natives, this song is a physical workout. Your face gets scrunched up from the pure pocket nastiness. Your shoulders move involuntarily. Then your chest pups up as, as it crescendos at the end of each verse. That was amazing. The Black National Anthem by Black Alley. All right, friends, let's do today's libation. Today's libation is for James B. Parsons. James Benton Parsons, August 13th, 1911, June 19th, 1993, was a United States District Judge of the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois. He was the first African-American to serve as a judge in the U.S. District Court. Parsons was nominated by President John F. Kennedy on August 10th, 1961, to a seat on the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois, vacated by Judge Philip Leo Sullivan. He was confirmed by the United States Senate on August 30th, 1961, and received his commission the same day, becoming the first African-American to serve as a U.S. District Judge in a U.S. District Court. He served as Chief Judge from 1975 to 1981 and served as a member of the Judicial Conference of the United States from 1975 to 1978. James B. Parson. Now, let's do this quote. This quote is actually from the first chapter of his unfinished autobiography. It's a transcript from a recording. I remember lying on the floor every week with a coal oil lamp and reading a newspaper called Chicago Defender. Chicago De Defender newspaper, reading about people like myself. We were called colored people then. There were pictures of them getting in and out of automobiles with chauffeurs in Chicago, beautiful mansion houses in which they lived, magnificent attire, parties, all of these social pictures, social pages, every much like the things you read about in the literature of the period. I didn't see any of that in Decatur. With the 58,000 people in Decatur, there were only 1,800 of my race there. We didn't see that group together very much at any one time. This quote is at the beginning of, near the beginning of his autobiography. I didn't get through reading the whole thing, but this is where I had to go to find the quotes. And um, I struck, I, I'm always struck by the profound power that seeing yourself in successful people has on a young mind. Here, Judge Parsons is amazed at Chicago of his time, a thriving black community he had never experienced. It's odd, but often people coming to my hometown of PG County say similar things, especially back in the 90s. Cousins would be shocked to be in a shopping mall full of black people or driving slowly down manicured streets with traffic circles and seeing black families walking their dogs. It changes one's whole outlook when you are not the minority in your community. If you live in the reality or see it as a possibility, it changes your motivation. Parsons was struck by what was possible and was determined to push it even further. As poor libation for James B. Parson. We never forget, so never fear. For homies who ain't here, we pouring out a beer. Because of you, it'll never be the same. We keep saying your name while we pour champagne. For the mothers and the father figures, your flames still flickers, we pouring out some liquor. With the sons and the daughters of heroes and martyrs, honor you by pouring out some water. This is for James Benson Parson, Ashe. Let's keep this moving, friends. All right, I'm going to get into our song for today. Our song for today is No Matter Where You Go, featuring Wayna. This is Asheru. Asheru, I'll give you some more information about the brother when we come back from the break. All right, here we go. <laughs> 